Denise Sakamoto and Dan Bailey are doing the commentary for CBSSports.com, and they have walked the yes. walk. Hi, guys. Hi, welcome. How are you doing? Thanks for sharing your desk with us. Oh, <laughs> thanks for, thanks for coming you're, over. Yeah. You're a four-time CrossFit athlete. You finished second in the Masters Women Competition in 2016. And, Dan, you're a five-year individual CrossFit Games veteran, finishing within striking distance each time. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. What, what is it like to cover these games being a former athlete in, in the games? You know, it's so much fun. It, it, it's a little bit bittersweet, I would say, probably for both of us because, you know, as much as we'd like to be competing, for whatever reasons, this year we're not. Um, so I think second best to that is definitely being on the desk, being a part of the action, um, being able to watch the, the athletes from this view. It's been really fascinating. Yeah, how about for you? Yeah, it's great having this perspective, you know, being an athlete before. You know what the athletes are going through. You know what to expect, the jitters from the events. I actually still get a, a little bit jittery when they actually announce the events for the athletes. And the fact that we get to talk about it and kind of walk them through and, and watch them perform, it's just fun. It's fun to be still be part of the event. And you can give a, a unique perspective because you've walked a lot. Right, exactly. We know the kind of uh, uh, pain they're going through. We know what it feels like for the weekend. We know what it's like to compete against the best in the world. Annie, is it hard to not be competing this year? Um, it is, but it was a decision I had to make. I have a family. I have two small children. I have a business. And, and to be honest, even as a master competitor, there's just so much time and effort that has to be put into being fully prepared for this event. For me, I just had to take a year off. But again, to be here um, and have actually a unique perspective on the competition has been a lot of fun. As, as the journey begin for most of, these, most of you guys, it starts you going to a CrossFit gym and it starts there? You get kind of hooked? Yeah, I actually, the first time I ever did a CrossFit workout, I just ran into a guy in a, in a local gym, just a regular, uh, we call him Globo Gym, basically. And he's like, hey, you might like this. You should try this out. He gave me a couple workouts. I was hooked. And then he brought me to a, his affiliate. And then everything just kind of spiraled from there. They're like, hey, you're doing really good at workouts. Why don't you sign up for this competition? And then it just kind of blew up from there. Yeah. For and me, this is where it can take you. I got to show you this picture of Annie. Look at this. Annie is in the program. <laughs> that is an, that's on the obstacle <laughs> course last year? Yep, correct. That was the obstacle course. And so even the Masters did the obstacle course last year. Did it start the same way for you? You just went to a class at a CrossFit gym and got hooked? Well, you know, I had a friend that was actually a CrossFit trainer, and this was back in 2004, so there weren't a lot of people doing CrossFit at the time. I had kind of heard about it from a couple people, but she begged and pleaded that I come in, but I had heard all of these crazy stories about CrossFit, and so I, I didn't think it was for me. She actually brought me in for a personal session where just her and I worked, and I was like, Oh, I've got this CrossFit thing. So I came to a class session the very next time, um, and I got I got my butt kicked. <laughs> And, and for me, that was, I was hooked right from there. But it's not as intense as this, a class. I, I would hope not. <laughs> no, the beauty, beauty of it is, the sport is, everything's infinitely scalable. So we could take, Annie and I were both uh, CrossFit coaches. We could take any workout that these athletes are doing in the individual competition and have my grandma do it or have my mom do it or have anybody of any ability level do it. You just scale it down to their ability level. From a coverage perspective, there are so many events. They change all the time. There are surprise events. It's very fluid. Does that make it challenging to be a commentator for something like this? Definitely. I think there's a lot of things that Dan and I can expect to see. Um, but for instance, the 42,000, the marathon row last night, 42,000 meter row, neither of us would have ever had thought that that was going to be an event. Um, so there's definitely, we, we have to start digging. But there's so much information out there, you know, especially with the internet, that we were able to glean things that will lead us to some kind of ideas on how events are going to go or what's going to happen. How hard is this? <laughs> is it true that everyone can do it? Because that's the, that's what everyone says here. Yeah, depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about the CrossFit Games, absolutely not. Not okay. everyone can do it. That is, it is not for everyone. I don't recommend people at home watching TV. They see some workout and the prescribed loads. Don't go to your gym and just try to do that. That's you, will a, hurt, you will hurt something. Maybe like watching yeah. downhill skiing and you're like, well, I'm just going to go you know, to the top of Mount Everest, strap some skis on and go for it. Like That's not the right way to do it. But anybody can do CrossFit, like I mentioned before, infinitely scalable. Every workout can be scaled to an Level. My, my nine-year-old son, my 12-year-old daughter, and my 66-year-old mother, we have all done CrossFit together. Wow. Yeah. Well, that puts it in perspective. I think the youngest competitor here is 14. The oldest is 66. 66. 66. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. Well, have a great time. We're looking forward to your coverage, and uh, 
Congratulations. Thanks for being with us today. For having us great on. Thank, you. Having Thank us. you so much. Thank Have a great you. competition. Thank Just you. to remind you, you can watch the daily live coverage of the games on CBSSports.com. There's an hour recap of the events each evening at 9 p.m. on the CBS Sports Network. That's on cable. And then here on WISC TV, CBS will have an hour of live coverage on Saturday at noon and Sunday morning at 11. Thanks again, guys. Thanks again. Thank we'll be right back from the Align Energy Center.